welcome, 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 welcome. Feels good to be back. Another week. Another week, another week, another week. Welcome back to another episode of This is KC Sports with your man Bishop, live and direct on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Man, it feels good to be back, everybody. Hope everyone has had or is having a pretty good weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here where I am, Kansas City. Temps has been a little bit out of out of hand, out of pocket. Very, very disrespectful high temps outside. I can't stand it. Y'all know that. I speak about it every time. Um, but, you know, I'm happy to be here. I'm glad y'all here. We're going to have, let's have somewhat of a fair show, right? No, we're going to have an excellent show, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got hot. Let's check out our chats. Welcome, everybody, that's in the IE Sports Radio chat room. My man, Adam. What's up, man? Yeah, we should have a pretty fun show today, man. There's lots to talk about. Football season is here. Football season is here. That's my favorite sport. Y'all should know by the way I sound when I talk about it. I get a little excited. Even the wife was like, man, you talk about everything else. But when it comes to that football, you can tell the difference. (laughs) Larry B is in the chat. What's up, Larry B? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... We're going to kick things off uh, here. We're going to probably talk about, hey, since football season is back, let's go ahead and get into a little bit of football. I'm not like, you know, I like to say those Chiefs for last. That's my, that's, that's my team. Mizzou football is also back. Yes. Talk a little bit about them. It's going to be beautiful. I can't wait. Mizzou football is back, baby. They just dropped. They just dropped the trailer for this 2023 season over on their Twitter page at Mizzou Football. Man, man, got, ooh, I felt the hairs on the back of my neck, the chills, man, everything stood up, man. I was, oh, man, it, it, it was it was nice, man. So I guess for the 2023 season, the theme is going to be STP, STP. And what that stands for is something to prove, and I can't wait. I'm here for it. I can't wait. I'm fired up. Man, that trailer, that video trailer that they dropped, man, it, it made me want to just go run a few miles and do some lunges. I, I almost broke out into 100 push-ups, man. Like, it, whoo, boy, whoo, man, it was, it was just nice. It was nice. It was nice. Um. And so, so far, the rumor mill is, is, is turning with MU football. Um, the, 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 what's, I guess the question is that's out there that it, it just got out there. Um, and, and it still remain a question cause we're not sure. Like I said, everything's just getting kicked off. Could MU use, that, that sounds crazy. Could MU use, <laughs> MU use could Mizzou use two or three QBs for the 2023 season last time MU had a multi QB rotation was back in uh, like 95 I was a little youngster then I wasn't that I wasn't old enough to know what was happening for real for real um they did it in 95 and then they did it in 96 so um yeah so that's that's what that's what's going on, and it's going to be interesting to see um, if if they go with that type of QB by committee because that's what it, that's what it sounds like to me. It seems like it's going to be a QB by committee. So you're probably going to have a QB who's good at running, and <clears throat> excuse me, and you're probably going to have one that's pretty good, fairly good at throwing, and then you're going to have one that's right in the middle 
who's kind of well balanced, right? I think that's a good idea, you know, rotational quarterback by committee, and it keep it should help keep injuries down, you know, keep the defense guessing. Um, I like it. I like it. It's something that the Houston Texans did. Actually, the Houston Texans just did a QB by committee type situation. You see, uh, last season, they were rotating uh, the two QBs in and out. And so you, it's hard to game plan for, against something like that. So that's going to be interesting to see if um, MU, Mizzou, if they, if they actually go ahead and do a, a quarterback by committee, two or three QBs rotating. It, I, I think it needs to be at least three. Two of them, it can work, but three, you know, yeah. That that's that the the. I I like three. I like the number three. So we're gonna go with three. So we'll see. Can't wait to see. Mizzou football just dropped a their hype trailer, or one of the hype trailers, because MU football is back as long as, or as well as all other footballs, right? Can't wait, man. We're gonna talk high school football coming up soon. Um. Everybody's breaking out into practices and training camps, and I can't wait to start talking about more Mizzou football, more of the local high school football. Um, so, yeah, got a lot ahead of us in the coming coming weeks. Uh, let's go ahead and kick it over to the Casey Current. Um, man, the girls in Teal, they ended their last match with a, with a draw. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's better than a loss, if you ask me. <laughs> Obviously, right? I mean, you want the win, but I'll take the I'll take the draw. Uh, they were in a full time match against Chicago um, Red Stars. The Till game will now face uh, race in Louisville August fifth at Children's Mercy Park. Kickoff is set for seven p.m. Get your tickets on Seat Geek so you can cheer. The girls in Ty, uh, Teal, in Ty, Jesus. So you can cheer the girls in Teal on to victory. It's going to be a good game because racing Louisville, I think they get, had a Casey Kern number for the past few games, man. So I, I'm excited, hopefully. um, I might try to go to that game. We'll see. We'll see. I, I have yet been to one. And I know, I know, I said I was going to wait for 2024 uh, and and just start anew and go to their games in the new stadium, which is looking good, man. It's, it's get they're, they're getting it together. They're getting it together pretty fast. Um, but I don't know. I, I kind of want to go to, I really kind of want to go to a game now. I'm, I'm it depends. It's at seven p.m. I, I got to see what time, what what the temp gonna be, because I, I ain't trying to be out there like that if it's gonna be hot. But it's August the fifth. Children's Mercy Park against Racing Louisville, seven p.m. Like I said, get your tickets on SeatGeek. Or if you don't feel like being out and being surrounded and bothered with folks, you can always watch at home on your television. So that will be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see what we got going on here. I'm excited, man. Um, I'm excited with the football season coming. Like I said, I, I don't know if it's the weather or if it's more so football in general. Like, I, I, bet, I bet every now and then. And if you're better, a sports better, do it responsibly. And I do every now and then. I don't do it a lot. Baseball been killing me though. Like I, I can't figure, <laughs> I can't figure baseball out, man. Football is a lot more easier to me because you know you kind of expect the expectancy. You kind of know who's gonna score, who's not. Um, but man, it's that baseball is different, bro. I, I like baseball, but it's it's definitely different. It's definitely different. Um, sporting KC. They have a game coming up um, against, uh, man, I do not know these people's name, and I ain't even about to sit here 
Guadalajara. That's what I'm going to say. It, 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 it. That's what it looked like to me. Hey, if I got that, pat on my back. But I'm sure it looked like Guadalajara. So, uh, <laughs> tomorrow, 9 p.m., baby, at Georgia Mercy Park. Sporting KC, they, you know, they they're they're doing what they do. They doing what they what they have to do right now. They're trying to, you know, get things going. And, and I can tell they're playing hard, and they will. Next season, I, I can tell you, next season is definitely going to be a lot a better season, a more brighter season. And the same thing with the Royals, and we're going to talk about that because. The Royals, they're starting to smell like something, and we're going to talk about it. But um, Sporting KC, Guadalajara uh, is, like I said, set for tomorrow, Church of Mercy Park, 9 p.m. Of course, you can always get your tickets on seat, get to see them also. Uh, I, I have yet been to a Sporting KC game. Like, What is wrong with me? How can I call myself, this is KC Sports, and I have not been to any Soccer games. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. Trust me. Um, they 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 last match was against Cincinnati. It, it was a draw. There was a red card situation, penalties all over the place. It was crazy. That game was crazy, but it it was nice. It was nice. Um, and that was these are the like the uh, League Cup match day. So, uh, let's see here. So they got. That one coming up tomorrow, which is a League Cup uh, match day game. And then August 26th, they take on San Jose. Should be should be pretty decent. Should be pretty decent. And then August or September 2nd, Sporting KC take on St. Louis. I ain't in I I don't I, I nah. I don't even want to talk about that one. That's that's crazy. That that game. Hopefully they can <laughs> Hopefully Sporting can get their rematch against St. Louis. We'll see. Because that, that team is kicking butt and taking names. Like, this is your first season. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know if it's politics or what it is, but your first season and you're number one uh, in the Western Conference, like, where the heck did y'all find these players at that nobody else can find <laughs> You know, like, how did y'all know that these people were going to be who they are? Uh, Sporting KC currently sits at 11th on position pole, which is fine. That's fine. That That's fine. You know, they they, they getting, they, they doing something, you know. Uh, like I said, St. Louis is number one, and uh, LAFC is number two, respectfully. That that's, that's a good team. Cincinnati still sits at number one on the Eastern Conference. And, yeah. You know, I'm cute. Inter uh, Miami, man. Everyone is that team has been talked about. They in last place, um, in the Eastern Conference. They in last place, but that team has been the talk, talk of the town. And the reason is because of Messi, right? I think everybody's like, oh. Y'all thought Messi was going to be washed and all. And, and like I said, um, I just think that Messi is overkill for the MLS. Like, not saying the MLS is not stacked with Uber, Ubers of talent. I'm saying that it's different, okay? The leagues are different from where Messi come from to the MLS. And that's because where Messi come from, they live, breathe, and eat soccer or football, whatever you want to call it, okay? Um, I, I just think that Messi's going to, like, he's going to dominate. And, like, he's going to, He's going to dominate in the MLS. Like, there's no way he can't. The guy is just that good. Like, we saw how good he was, you know, in the other leagues that he was in. And it's, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I think that 
Miami's going to gonna do pretty good for, for what they are, you know. But like I said, my sport in KC is 2020, 2024 season. Be ready. That's all I can tell you, all right? You heard it here first. <laughs> Same thing with KC Current. Them girls, they, they, they're working on something. They're going to get it. Uh, you know, they know. It's crazy, man. Messi just popped up on, like, a notification. It's wild. It's wild. Oh, I guess he's going to return to Barcelona. Uh, that's crazy. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway. I guess it's going to be like a loan thing or something like, like they do. I never understood that in soccer where they be like loaning out players or whatever. It's it's so weird, man. It's it's pretty dope, but it's weird at the same time. Uh, but like I said, uh, Casey Current, they're, they're going to get there. They, you know, this year was a total, it's done. You know, it's it's their last place. Um, you know, their last place. <sighs> Next year, I think it's gonna be better. They got the pieces. They're gonna start putting, you know, putting the, putting the puzzle together, and it's gonna be. And again, it could be politics because that new stadium. I don't know, but I'm just saying, they're gonna be good. They are good. They're all talented. All these players are talented. We always say it every. We say it every time on this show because if they weren't talented, they wouldn't be where they are. I can't go out there and run around for 90 minutes. I can't probably run around for 10, 15 minutes out there. I'm done. Hands on my head. I'm done. I'm breathing. Trying to find as much air as I can find. All right? <laughs> so, there's no way in hell I'm running around out there. Uh, let's see here. My, oh, who just, who, 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 who's in the chat? Mikey Two Guns. Me and Mikey Two Guns are definitely gonna link up. I'm gonna join his show because the Patriots. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know what, man? We gonna. I'm telling you. Uh, and Mikey asks, "Who got a new stadium?" The Casey Kern, our local girls soccer team. Uh, I can't say girls; they women. NWSL, you know. So they got a new stadium, and it's gonna be up. Uh, should be ready by the start of 2024 season they already got it up it's going it's almost it's almost there man it, it looks nice um but yeah mikey two guns my man welcome to the welcome to the show welcome to the chat uh got that game circle hey i'm ready man okay i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready we gonna duke it out man mikey two guns all right <laughs> i can't wait man uh you're gonna be disappointed you're gonna be you're gonna be upset, man. I know. I'm sorry in advance. All right, that's all I can tell you. But yeah, <laughs> you're gonna be disappointed. I liked your cover, man, when you went over to uh to the Patriots Stadium and stuff, man. That that was that was nice, man. I like that, man. That that was pretty dope. I'm gonna have to get out there and and beat the street and go get some of these interviews and stuff myself, man. So. But welcome to the show, brother. I'm glad y'all here, Paige. I'm glad you're here, everyone. Thank y'all for being here. Uh, we're going to take a real quick break. We're going to come back. We talked about Casey Current. Talked about MU football. We're going to talk about these Royals. Because like I said, these Royals have been smelling like something these past few games. All right. And we're going to get into what it is they've been smelling like. This is KC Sports. I'm your man, Bishop. I will see y'all in a second. Stick around. What's going on, football fans? This is me, your boy Larry B, inviting you to join myself, Callum Reynolds, Mike Pat, and John Felipe for one of the most electrifying football shows you have ever heard. Three and out, right here at IE Sports Radio. Recap of the week before, a preview of what's to come, and of course, three hardcore head-to-head primetime face-offs. 
each week. You don't want to miss it. What up, Boston sports fans? This is Mikey Two Guns here, your host of Our Bleepin' City, airing every Wednesday night from 7 to 8 p.m. right here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Please join me. We'll talk everything Boston sports, all the local teams, college teams. I'm even down to talk MMA, boxing, whatever you guys want. So join me every Wednesday night, 7 to 8 p.m. Chime in with your questions on the chat, tweet the show. We'll even have Collins. I can't wait to hear from you guys. This is going to be a lot of fun. So once again, it's our bleeping city. I am your host, Mikey Two Guns, every Wednesday night from 7 to 8 p.m. Right here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. See you soon, people. Well, 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 what is up, Carolina Nation? This is John Felipe of the Carolina Cast, of course, the podcast of, by, and for the Carolinas, right here on IE Sports, your direct feed for all that is sports. And I'm reminding you to tune in Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern for the latest in Carolina sports, whether it's the Panthers that keep on pounding, the fly natures of the Hornets, the storming hurricanes, the battle of the Blues with Duke and UNC, the fight of the Clemson Tigers, or the amazing atmosphere of any Carolina college. I'm talking App State. I'm talking ECU. I've got you covered. Once again, tune in for the Carolina cast with me, John Felipe, Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. It's your boy, Marcus Los Great. Here to give you what you want. Here to give you what you need. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming to you live. Straight from your mama's basement with a crispy, crispy white tea. <laughs> We are coming to you live every Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Powered by IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports.
see what Larry B be saying, man. <laughs> Some of these drops and stuff out here oh, from the IE Sports Radio family, man, make you want to bust out into a flow, bro. <laughs> I think he asked, uh, who did he, I think he said that to Adam, I think, was it? I, I don't know, but I, I feel him, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> man. Well, I, we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. All right, so welcome back, y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Um, my man Mikey Two Guns uh, during the break from the IE Sports Radio chat side. He was saying that, uh, yeah, man, I, I will definitely show you some good BBQ next time you come here. Everyone says that, um, but uh, I don't, I don't know, man. It's it's cool. It's good. It's good. I guess I feel like that because I'm here. And, you know, I've eaten it enough times, you know. But honestly, when I go to different places, man, I I be feeling like they barbecue was is better than ours. Like I I know, I know. Blasphemy. But I do. I don't know what that what that's about. I feel like different different, you know, other other cities got um got got better taste in barbecue. Maybe it's the sauce. I'm a sauce guy. So, like, I I can appreciate the flavors and the and you know and the seasonings that you do and however you pre- prepare the meats and stuff. But I like the sauce. To me, the sauce makes everything. Cause I get I get a little weird and I like to dip my fries in the barbecue sauce sometimes. So, um, but yeah, we definitely got some spots, man. We definitely got some spots, bro. Um, let's see here. My man Adam there, he says KCBBQ is the best. It's pretty good, man. It is. It is. It is. So, um, came front about that. Mikey Two Guns said, "I got your Pat's jersey ready for you to wear." <sighs> man, don't don't you start that mess. Don't you start that mess. <laughs> Do it come with a free pair of spy binoculars, man? Hmm. <laughs> So I can so I can tell Andy Reid and and Veach and them some of these people plays out here. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, bro. All right, uh, but yeah, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. It's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a good game. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be a good game. Let me be in the chat, of course. Man, I'm glad y'all here. So for the break, I was saying that the Royals smell like something these past few games you ain't cheating (laughs) oh man hey mikey man (laughs) you you wild bro uh uh i (laughs) jeez man y'all be getting me cracking up man i can't even get my thoughts out half the time bro uh like i said the royals are smelling like something. And it's a good thing, right? It's not a stinky stink. I mean, they stink, but they doing, these past two games has been electrifying, all right? To say the least. Uh, the Royals, man, they they got the bats to come to life these past few games. In the last two games, these Royals have been smelling a little like 2015. Yeah. That deserves running for that deserves some claps. That deserves some claps. And that's scary. That's scary to 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 get that feeling because that means it's gonna, these teams are in trouble. These teams are in trouble. They they smelling these past couple of games. And I know it's only been a couple of games. I know yes, the Royals still are trash, but they've been smelling pretty. Pretty 2015-ish. Bobby Witt, that man is on fire, okay? Bobby Witt Jr. is on fire. As a matter of fact, before we jump too far into it, let's hear this insane moment that Bobby had against the Twins a couple of games ago. This audio clip is definitely courtesy of the Kansas City Royals YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much. Let's have a listen. The bases are loaded for Bobby Witt Jr. Potential tying run at third, potential winning run at second. High drive, deep left. Grand slam! Bobby Witt 
Jr. wins it! Sensational! To have your first Major League walk off a slam? Are you kidding? It's only fitting. It's only fitting. It's only fitting is what they say. And it is. Here in Kansas City, they call Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Baseball. That's only fitting to me. Okay? So, again, that audio clip was courtesy of the Kansas City Royals YouTube channel. Thank you again. So now let's, with that being said, the Royals might find themselves in a contract situation with Bobby because if I were him, I want the bank. All right? I want the bank. My man is out here hitting grand slams. Okay? Walk off grand slams, might I add you. You heard what they said. It's only fitting. <laughs> so, to me, it's only fitting that he walk away with the bank. Right? It's it, it's only fitting. That, those are strong words, man. It's only fitting. That means that you can't describe a person any other way. You can't say anything, anything else about that person. It's only fitting. It fits him perfectly. You can't call him nothing else. Bobby Baseballs. You wouldn't call the leader of the Wu-Tang Clan anything other than the eight names he got. <laughs> it's only fitting. RZA. You know what I'm saying? Bobby Digital is what you call him. It's only fitting. It's, it's wild, man. It's wild. Um... Bobby not only showed that he can play this game, but he also showed every game. Like some games he has a down game. We we if if we're all playing professional sports, you can't ride high forever. Right? You're gonna slump a little bit. It's 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 okay. But not only has he not showed the Kansas City Royals that he can play this sport, but he is baseball. And that's why they call him Bobby Baseball. It will be interesting to see how it works out, but this team is starting to gel, and something definitely has changed from our last conversation on this show about this team slump. Okay? The Royals still has a long way to go. They have a very long way to go. But... I am going to enjoy this brief flashes of awesomeness, okay? Hopefully, they can build around the momentum of this current team and put the pieces in place to have a much better 2024 season. I think they can. No, no, no. What they say, thinking isn't knowing. I know they can. And I know they will. I like the nickname to uh, Mikey Two Gun. Bobby Baseball, that's that's crazy. KC, hey, we are a great baseball town, man. And and I can't wait until they restore that. Um, in 2024, I think they will. No, I know they will, like I said. Bobby Witt has had, in the last two games, Excuse me. He has had four hits and he made magic happen with all those hits. Okay? You have four hits on the 28th of July, six RBIs. Damn. You have four hits July 29th, three RBIs. You had bet five times in each of those games. Now, July 26th, like I said, you can't be 
you can't be good every game. Especially in this damn temperature out here in Kansas City. It's disrespectful. If the work I do day in, day out, if I feel drained at the end of my eight-hour shift at work, because I work in the elements, and I feel drained from the damn heat, imagine what they feel like. So I don't expect you to be perfect every game. All right? Yeah, man. Hey, that's what I'm saying, Mikey. You do, a lot of people don't know. But if you dig it up, Google is our friend here. This team is historically bad, man. But, like I said, I don't, I, I talk about the bad because when the good happens, I'm going to, we're going to go off. Okay? And we going off right now. We going off. Because Bobby Wood Jr. is Bobby Baseball. <clears throat> so, like I said, he today not so good. Should have knew it was coming, right? He did bat twice so far. He hasn't had a hit. They figuring it out. The Twins is figuring it out. Keep that man at bay best we can. Because he, why is that? Well, because Bobby Baseball, do he does Walk off grand slams. So let's keep him at bay, okay? Uh, we'll take a live look at the score real quick. Royals 2, Twins 1, bottom of the fifth. See what I'm saying? Smelling. Are, the, are the Royals about to sweep this mini, mini game series? Mini game series. I ain't what I'm saying half the time. Are they about to sweep this series between them and the Twins? I think so. It's happening. It's already happening, man. It's already happening. They already two in, and they're looking for the sweep. Bring out the brooms, ladies and gentlemen. It's 2-1. Bottom of the fifth. Or they're ending the fifth. They're on their way to the top. Top of the sixth. So... Plenty of game left. Anything can happen. But so far, like I said, they're smelling like 2015. In 2024, I think the conversation on the Royals is going to be a whole different topic. We're going to be talking about how good this team is. Like I said, to me, it seemed like they need to do something with the batting order. They need to do something. Something wasn't right. That's what we talked about on the show the last time. And here we are, like things, the bats are coming to life. So, big up to them. Kudos again to Bobby Witt. We're not going to talk about this stadium thing this week. I'm done. I killed that the last show. I'm finished. I can't talk about that no more. I don't care what happens, okay? We're going to leave it at that. <laughs> I'm just curious to see what's going to happen with the players on this team. Is Salvi going to be back, or are they going to try to trade him and get what they can give for him? Salvi, I didn't know that Salvi had went over. <laughs> they had him over on first base, man. Dude, did, he did pretty good. He did good uh, that game. I, I was I was shocked. Uh, so yeah, that was that was good to see. Yeah, so by uh, Mikey Two Guns, man. We are, I'm not answering that stadium question about the Royals. <laughs> We're not talking about that. I <laughs> uh, see you tried to sneak it in there. That's good. Uh, but we are going to talk about my boy, Travis Kelsey, a.k.a. Killer Trav, a.k.a. the best tight end in the league. I don't know what the hell's going on, man. Uh, it's hot outside. You know what I'm saying? They... He did. <laughs> I don't know if it was the whole Taylor Swift situation or what, but uh, <laughs> or if it's just hot, man. I, I think that's what it is. I think it's the temperature, you know. In the summertime, the the foods come out. The the, the, the craziness that it does something just like. So my son, he's five years old, right? I have a five year old. Yeah, I know. I'm crazy. That's another story for a different day. Uh, I ended up with a five year old because all my other kids are big kids. So. Uh, 
That's the fact. Mikey Two Gun said, "What happened at the stadium? Did the fountains break? Yeah, they're broke. We're gonna stay there." <laughs> um, damn it! So, like I said, the sun—I think it's the sun, man. It does something crazy to us. It brings out our our animalistic behavior. That's what's going on with Kelsey, if you ask me. Like I said, my son just got a bitter dragon. I don't know much about bitter dragons, okay? Or iguanas. Or, I know they're lizards and amphibians. That's it. I don't know much about them. I've never had one as a pet. But we do now. Uh, so, oh, your son's 5'2", Mikey 2 guns. Cool, man. That's what's up. Uh, so we have one now. So I've been doing a lot of research. And I've been doing a lot of studying and learning about this bearded dragon, man. And apparently, when you take them outside... <laughs> and give them direct sunlight, it does something to them. Uh it 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 alters something in their in their minds or whatever and it makes them think that they're not a, a captive creature. Like they like they're not a pet. It makes them think that they're out in the wild. Because they people were saying like they kind of go crazy on it. Like they don't they don't know that, that they're your pet. And so that's what I'm thinking. Uh that, that, yeah, that's what it, it just makes them freak out a little bit or something. Like they kind of lose, uh, you know, the the sense of where they are. You know, I think they're in a while. So that's what I'm thinking is going on with Travis Kelsey. I'm not saying he's a bitter dragon, but I'm saying that it's the sun, man. The sun is is kicking people butt. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. I know. Yep, we gotta pay the bills. But before we do, hold tight. Hold tight. Am I saying this correctly, my man Larry B? You know, he keep us all up to date, and I've been seeing it floating around. I thought it was a rumor. I don't know. I think it's legit, because everybody's buying it up, and I heard it's a good, it's a good product. Apparently, we have a new sponsor, Planet Jerky. That deserves some props. Deserves some props. That's awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. And from what I have seen and heard about this product, Planet Jerky, is that they have some of the best jerky you can find. What makes them the best out of everybody, from what I've seen, and that it's been said, is that they use premium products. None of the BS stuff, man. They use premium brisket. They got gluten-free options. Come on, y'all know that's that's huge, man. That's huge, Okay. I got to try it for myself. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to see if my man Larry B can hook me up because I keep saying that it's, that they're, you know, having a hard time keeping it on the shelves and stuff. If you guys feel lucky and you want to try to try the product, try it. You got to try it. Okay. Planet Jerky. PlanetJerky.net. Okay. Gluten-free options. They got some flavorful, flavorful, flavorful options. And they have... Each package has information about the different planets that the jerky represent. That's dope. So not only are you feeding your mind, your body, your muscles, you're also feeding your brain. That's huge. Planet Jerky, like I said, you can't go wrong. PlanetJerky.net. Check it out. We'll be right back. Sports fans, do you like teams that are tough Cities that are tougher, and fan bases that are passionate about their teams? How about teams that are historic, and stadiums that are iconic? Then you belong in Chicago, and you need to check out Chi town Weekly. Join me, Adam Kernan, every week as we keep up with all things Chicago sports. Bears, Bulls, Blackhawks, Cubs, White Sox. We'll cover them all, plus more. The Windy City is always buzzing, and we'll keep you up on all the big games and major stories. So tune in to Chi Town Weekly every week right here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports.
Are you a fan of Buffalo sports? Are you thinking of changing loyalties and becoming a Buffalo sports fan? Do you even know where Buffalo is on the map? Did you know Canada is closer to Buffalo than New York City? Welcome to the Buffalo Huddle every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 4 p.m. Pacific Coast Time on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. I'm your host, Patty Bax. This is a podcast designed for you, the passionate sports fan. I know you love your sports. Who doesn't? I cover Buffalo sports and so much more by bringing in the human elements. I call it Buffalo sports with a twist. Join me as we take a journey into the world of Buffalo sports. I guarantee you'll fall in love with Buffalo just like I did. Each week we start with an inspiration, question of the day, a Buffalo fun fact, and a weekly challenge to you, the listener. Come huddle up with me. Every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 4 p.m. Pacific Coast Time for the Buffalo Huddle with Patty Bax on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. As we say in Buffalo, Go Bills! Sports Radio. It is your direct feed for all that is sports. It is Philly Sports Talk with Cash and Chris every Tuesday night right here on IE Sports Radio. Your direct feed for all that is sports. Philly Sports Talk with Cash and Chris. The most comprehensive view on Philadelphia sports exclusively right here on IE Sports Radio. You know what it is. Your direct feed for all that is sports. Tuesday night, IE Sports Radio, Philly Sports Talk with Cash and Chris. definitely appreciate all of y'all in the chat somebody told me that the big guy is in the building y'all know Larry B hey Larry B is the genius behind IE Sports Radio family. And man, it's awesome having you here, brother. He's over there, from what I hear, he's out there working hard, putting together the three and out sports show, getting ready for the NFC edition. I know he's over there doing the eight divisions, right? He's talking to everybody. He's talking to everybody. He got us all in battle mode, man. Hey, Mikey Two Guns said, when the chat room is live, the show's flies. 
you ain't lying, bro. You ain't lying, man. You ain't lying. And I appreciate y'all for taking time out of y'all Sunday. Y'all could have been doing anything. Yard work, hanging out with the family, whatever. Y'all could have been doing it all, man. Y'all here with me, man. Got me feeling special. But y'all deserve some claps for that. So, um, we're going to talk about these Chiefs real quick. Because Mikey brought it up about Travis Kelsey. Man, my man out there, he go, looked like he reverting back to his old ways. <laughs> Travis Kelsey out there beating up everybody. No, okay, I'm not going to start that rumor. But there's been some scuffles breaking out on the team a little bit during training camp. I think it's just hot. It's hot outside. Um, he did, Travis Kelsey did speak on it and, you know, made a point that, you know, he's a leader, he's a veteran, he's a leader on the team, and he has to do better and teach these youngers, these younger players better and be a better example for them. So that's cool, and, and I'm glad he spoke out on it. Uh, some people was like, oh, you know, it happens, you know, it does, but that don't mean it's okay, all right? Being competitive and, and getting a little physical, that's one thing. But when you're taking whole punches at teammates, that's not okay. And like I had to explain to this uh, gentleman, even Travis Kelsey thought it wasn't okay. That's why he spoke out about it, okay? So I'm glad he did. He, he you know, showed that he's a bigger person. He spoke out about it. Because, you know, the, hey, the Kelsey boys are wild, man. They are. They are. It's in their nature. But, um, but training camp, man, is booming. It's booming. I am a little pissed. Okay, I'm pissed. I am pissed to beyond pissed. All right, my man John Ross retired. Hey man, what the hell? That's not what I expected. I'm sorry. I know you're grown as man. You got to do what's best for you and your family. I'm not mad at you for make you know making the decision that retirement was was best for you. Hey, only you and your family know. But I'm just upset that I didn't get to see you and Mahomes on the field together tearing it up. Because I know y'all could have done it. So that that broke my heart, man. Okay? And that's so it's selfish. Yeah. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So I wanted to see the magic between you and Mahomes, man. I know it could have happened. But now we get to see Justin Ross in Mahomes. And not only Justin Ross, but Rasheed Rice, these two guys are burning the training camp up. They call them R2 or R square or R R by R or whatever. They 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 somebody they out there trying to figure out the nickname. The Chiefs Kingdoms are trying to trying to get these guys the nickname. Double R, you know what I'm saying? So they're trying to figure it out. But these two are doing good. MVS, of course, he's a fet. He's looking good. Mahomes is fine to him. Scott Moore's looking good. Trent McDuffie. That kid has a very high football IQ. He plays how I was taught to play the game. Attack the ball. You do whatever you have to do to attack the ball. Don't worry about the player. Attack the ball. I mean, he had a pass breakup in camp where I was like, that's how I was taught to play. And I don't understand why they don't do that in in the season. You, If the receiver leaves you, right, if you're, if you're falling behind and you're looking at the receiver and you see his hands get ready to go up, right, you know what time it is. Now the only thing you have to do so you don't get a P.I. is track the ball yourself. Now, you ain't going to get an interception, but you should be able to swat that ball at the sky and get a PBU pass breakup. And he did that. Perfect. The guy, football IQ is insane, okay? It's insane, man. Um, Yes, Reggie Wayne, yes. I, hey, I loved Reggie Wayne, bro. <laughs> I did, man. I did. Uh, so, Mikey Two Guns know my pain. He knows my pain about the whole John Ross situation. Um, so yeah, Mahomes is Mahomes is Mahomes. You know, I, I mean, I, what hasn't been said about Mahomes, right? Uh, I haven't heard much about uh, 
Remigio. I, I kind of hope he makes the team. It, it's not looking right because they got, they're saying, um, oh, what's the kid name? The Nerd Prince. Oh, boy. This guy. Running back. They said he's out there doing every damn thing. He's everything. They, they got him back there lined up, taking returns. He hasn't dropped the ball once in training camp. I'm, I'm scared. All right? I'm scared and excited all at the same time. I'm scared for the opponents, but I'm excited for my team. Chris Jones situation, I know. It's it's doing what it's due. But we, we I think everything is going to work out. Even if Chris Jones isn't on the team next season, I will wish him the best. Uh, but I hope that they work out a long-term deal with him. He has met, he had held out all week. He hasn't been in training camp once. And that's fine. You don't have to be in training camp. I think that he's like, shit, it's too hot out there. I ain't going out there. See Travis Kelsey out there swinging on everybody. It's too damn hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I wouldn't be out there. Hell, you ain't swinging on me. <laughs> so, we'll see. Mahomes, I didn't know. Like, I know Mahomes has been you know, perfecting his behind-the-back pass. And I've seen the short passes that he does. I didn't know that mother freaker can throw that ball as far as he can throw it behind his back. That boy is one of the lizard people or alien or something. (laughs) No, but it's dope, though. It's dope to see it. Like, you could throw the football probably, if I had to guess, I think it was 20 yards behind his back and hit the damn goal post. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, and and he hit the goalpost intentionally, all right? Before y'all, you know, oh, he, he couldn't make it through. No, he that, that was the goal, was to hit the goalpost. The accuracy is it's insane. It's insane. Um, But, yeah, I'm excited to see the Nerd Prince. They said that man hasn't dropped the football yet. Everything came his way. He caught it. Crazy. Scott Moore is going to take a big leap this year. Richie James, he's technically a vet now. Hey, this team is looking good. I'm ready for the return of my boy, Young Joker, a.k.a. KT, a.k.a. Kadarius Tony. Mahomes is a freaking nature. Man, time, time, time. Hey, we're going to have to do this again next week, y'all, because I'm out of time. This has been beautiful. Thank you all for the – that's – uh, been chopping it up with me on the IE Sports Radio chat room, man. Thank y'all so much. Larry B, you the, you the RZA, baby. You the RZA, man. We we the Wu-Tang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's out there working hard, man. Uh, like I said, thank everybody for the chats. Keep me, keep me going, man. Mikey Two Guns, I can't wait, man. We're going we gonna to do something big together, brother. Uh, but you're going to have to stop trying to sneak that stadium talk in on me, man. Yeah, y'all got Juju, man. Y'all got Juju, but we got MBS. We good, man. I'll see y'all next week, man. Thank y'all so much for being here. This is KC Sports Live and Direct on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Peace out.